This video shows you how to configure automated backups for an Oracle Java Cloud Service instance, backup an instance on demand, and restore an instance from a backup. You can configure automated backups to customize how Oracle Java Cloud Service backs up an instance. Specifically, when automated backups are initiated. By default, full backups are initiated weekly starting 12 hours after the instance was created, rounded to the nearest 5 minute interval. For example, if an instance is created at 1.01 p.m. on a Monday, full backups are initiated at 1 a.m. on Tuesdays. Incremental backups are initiated every day except the day of a full backup at the same time that full backups are initiated. For example, if an instance is created at 1.01 p.m. on a Monday, incremental backups are initiated at 1 a.m. every day except Tuesdays. Where backups more than 7 days old are stored. By default, backups more than 7 days old are stored in the Oracle Storage Cloud Service container that was provided when the instance was created. How long new backups are retained. By default, Incremental backups are retained for 30 days. To configure automated backups, you need to go to the Oracle Java Cloud Service Console. I've already logged in to the My Services Cloud Portal and accessed the Oracle Java Cloud Service Console from the Platform Services Console. A list of Oracle Java Cloud Service instances is displayed. Click the name of the instance for which you want to configure automated backups. The Oracle Java Cloud Service Instance page appears with the Overview tile in focus, displaying detailed information about the instance. Click the Administration tile. The Oracle Java Cloud Service Instance page is refreshed with the Administration tile in focus. Click the Backup tab. Click Configure Backups. In the Configure Backups dialog box, set the options to configure automated backups for the instance. I'll configure full backups for Wednesdays at 11 a.m. UTC. That's the middle of the night where most of the users of my deployed applications are, so the load on my instance should be light. And I'll configure incremental backups to start at the same time. The default Oracle Storage Cloud Service account is OK, so there's no need to change any options here. The instance changes so infrequently that there's no need to keep incremental backups for more than 10 days. Full backups will be retained until their last related incremental backup is no longer available. For example, if two consecutive full backups are three days apart, the older backup is retained two extra days. The additional retention period for full backups is fixed and you cannot change it. Save your changes. From the backup page, you can also initiate an on-demand backup without having to wait for the next scheduled backup. Create a backup when making major changes to your instance, for example, before any configuration changes that you may need to undo, before deploying an application, before undeploying an application. To create a backup of an instance, click Backup Now for the instance. In the Backup Now dialog box, set the options you require for the backup. I'm about to make a major change to my service, so I'll set the backup type option to full. A full backup contains binary files and configuration files. An incremental backup contains only configuration files. But my changes aren't going to affect the database, so I'll leave the include database option set to no. I'm about to make a major change, so I'll need to keep this backup indefinitely. The change is really major, so I should add a note to that effect. Click Backup. The backup page is updated to show that the backup is in progress. While the backup is in progress, you cannot perform any management operations on the instance, such as starting another backup, restoring the instance from a backup, patching the instance, or scaling the instance. The backup might take several minutes to complete. When the backup is complete, its status is shown as completed in the list of available backups in the backup page. From the backup page, you can also restore an Oracle Java Cloud Service instance from a backup to return the instance to a particular state or recover the instance after a loss of data. To restore an Oracle Java Cloud Service instance from a backup, first identify the backup that you want to restore the instance from. For each backup, 
the backup page shows the following information. The date and time when the backup was created, whether the backup is a full backup or an incremental backup, and how the backup was initiated. This backup is a full on-demand backup that was initiated by the user, until when the backup will be retained. In A means the backup is kept forever. Where the backup is stored. This backup is stored on block storage that is attached to the VM where the administration server is running. What the backup contains. This backup contains configuration files and binary files. You can also see any notes that were added when the backup was created. And you can also get more information by clicking the icon that represents the backup. To hide the additional information, click anywhere on the backup page outside the pop-up. After identifying the backup to restore from, click the menu icon for the backup and choose Restore. A dialog box in which to set options for restoring from the backup opens. In the Restore dialog box, select the types of file to restore. The failure was very bad, so I'm going to have to restore configuration files and binary files. Add a note that will be shown in the restoration history. Click Restore. A dialog box asks if you are sure you want to perform the restoration. Once you click Yes, the backup page is updated to show that the restoration is in progress. While the restoration is in progress, you cannot perform any other management operations on the instance, such as backing up the instance, patching the instance, or scaling the instance. When the restoration is complete, its status is shown as completed in the Restoration History list in the backup page. After using Oracle Java Cloud Service to restore an instance from a backup, you must remove the instance's transaction records. Oracle Java Cloud Service does not provide any tools for removing an instance's transaction records. Instead, you use Oracle WebLogic Server for this purpose. You can find additional learning resources at cloud.oracle.com, as well as in the Oracle Learning Library and at Oracle University. Thank you for watching.